Khan has made her inclinations amply clear. Uh, I'm astonished that a simple question was asked of her. Who do you think was Nasrallah? And she said, it is not for me to answer it. What if you were to ask her, Panesh, who was Osama bin Laden? Would her response be the same? I'm intrigued to find out. So please ask her who was Osama bin Laden. I said, I am not here to describe the history of the regime. I am not here to answer a, 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 some kind of Wikipedia question. Ms. Khan, this is not Wikipedia. These, these are not ordinary individuals that we are talking about. These are dreaded terrorists, global terrorists. And you can't you know, get yourself to even name them? Dr. Ranganathan. Yes, anyhow, anyhow, as I said, the inclinations are very clear. But, you know, I want to stick to India because although 1.15 billion Indians stand with Israel, the rest don't. You have to understand the psyche of those who understand and this whole predicament, and they are, despite this, standing against Israel. Pranesh, have you ever wondered that a small sliver of land surrounded by the richest, the wealthiest nations in the world, the Arab states, remains the poorest when the same nations have converted deserts into Dubai, and yet Gaza remains the poorest, filthiest, sickest, most dangerous of places in the world? Why? Because they want to play the victim card. Just like after they start the violence, kill Jews, they march down their dead, killed in retaliatory Israeli action, where most of them are human shields, to show the world that Israel is the oppressor. They project Gaza as an open-air prison and gutter because Israel has made it so, they say. They care more about denigrating Israel than about developing Palestine. That's the truth. And why do these leftists and Islamists who want to ban India's trade with Israel not demand a ban on India's trade with China? Given that China has demolished 700 mosques and interned 1.5 million Muslims in concentration camps and is feeding them pork and sterilizing them because their salaries would stop? The point of the matter, as I said, is 1.15 billion Indians stand with Israel, shoulder to shoulder, because supporting Israel is not only moral, it is imperative that we do so. We'll be repaying a, repaying a debt, and that is what friends do. Let me explain first that debt, Pranesh, very briefly. Have we forgotten that in the wake of Pokhran II, when the world slapped sanctions against us and Pakistan invaded us in Kargil, the tide was turned by Israel supplying us with weaponry going against world sanctions? Let us also not forget that all Arab, uh, Arab friends ditched us during our 1971 war with Pakistan. It was Israel that came to our help despite America warning it not to. Facts that emerged from the explosive Haksar papers. And how did we replay, uh, repay uh, Israel then? By not backing it during its Yom Kippur war in 1973. Now the moral question, very briefly. I would like to make a few points and they need to be internalized because these are irrefutable facts, not opinion. Hamas and Hezbollah use residential areas and hospitals as ammunition dumps and patients as human shields, rendering Geneva Convention invalid. And here is the thing. The hospitals in Gaza were safe and functioning well till October 6, last year, one day. And they would have continued to be safe and function well beyond had Hamas not murdered 1,400 innocent Jews and microwave babies in October 7 and brought this upon war upon itself. So let me be clear. Hamas and Hezbollah alone are responsible for the Gaza tragedy. Chris Blackburn, before I bring you in, I quickly want to bring in uh, Major Gaurav Arya. Major Arya, you know the kind of commentary we've seen over the last two days, does it concern you? People who are talking about human rights suddenly changed goalposts, changed their stance and were cheering for Iran that launched missile strikes on innocent Israelis. No, uh, you see, I would uh, uh, agree with what uh, Dr. Ranganathan just said, and I think it makes a lot of sense. And before I answer your question, I would like to add that uh, we did wrong to Israel, right? There was a time when Israel helped us. We did not even recognize Israel. So there is much to be made up. And I think India should stand very firmly, no if, no but. Now, I would also like to say that, you know, all these, the, this nexus of the uh, radical Islamists and leftists, what they're doing is painting Iran to be the victim. Iran is the head of the snake. Let's be clear. I would go as far as to say that the real problem is not Hezbollah or Hamas. 
The real problem is Iran. We must recognize this problem. It is Iran that is funding the Hezbollah. It is Iran that is funding and arming the Houthis. It is Iran that is arming the Hamas. Why should Ms. Khan get so upset about the killing of Nasrallah? Is he, is he an Iranian national? Or was he an Iranian national? Why is she so concerned about Gaza? Let me tell you. This is nothing except, you know, in some Muslim countries, they've got together and made it a Muslim problem or a Muslim issue. And they are also correct. Because this is exactly why they hate the Jews. I will say this very loudly and let anybody who has a problem understand this loud and clear. They hate Israel not because of this so-called fake narrative of occupation of Palestine. They hate Israel because more than 80% Israelis are Jews. They hate the Jews and this hate has been continuing for more than 1400 years. This is religiously sanctioned hate. Right? Now, among the left and the uh, Islamist nexus in India, you know, uh, they, they will never say anything to China. They will not even say anything to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, by the way, bombed and killed more than 3 lakh Yemenis. That is 300,000 Yemenis. They conducted airstrikes. Nobody even talks about it. And what are these figures they are giving about Gaza? Who has given these figures? Who has counted the dead bodies in Gaza? These are all Hamas figures, the so-called Health Ministry of Gaza. What is Health Ministry of Gaza? It's nothing but Hamas. I think what Israel must do is hit back. Hit back Tehran so hard that their mad clergy, this complete lunatic of a man, right, who is the supreme leader of Iran, he needs to go. This regime needs to fall because they are the people. They are poisoning the entire Middle East. Unfortunately, we have some sort of a relationship with Iran. I don't know why. I disagree with our relationship with Iran. But the problem is that the Iran is the source of all poison. That is why nobody likes them. Many Muslim countries don't like Iran. They dislike Iran because Iran arms and funds terror groups. It is not just that they are doing it to the Israelis. They are doing it to Saudi Arabia. They are doing it to Jordan. They are doing it to Iraq. They are doing it to Syria. They are doing it to Yemen. They have spoiled and vitiated the entire atmosphere of the Middle East. And this regime needs to go. I stand with Israel. I think we need to make up for what wrong we have done okay. to Israel in the past. Uh, we carried out Balakot. Where do you think those Spice 2000 bombs came from? They came from Israel. Who helped us with the laser-guided bombs in Kargil? It was Israel. Israel has stood with us even when we did not have diplomatic relations with Israel. And how did we repay Israel? How did we repay? We, we, have not, we have not been good friends. Now we have started to be good friends and we must stand with Israel. I personally... As an individual, stand with Israel and I think the entire Indian nation should stand, the government should stand firmly behind Israel. Yeah, so, you know, ma Major Arya, you are being charitable. What you are saying is, is that stop this monkey fall. balancing, stand with Israel. That is what you are saying. Ms. Khan, you were talking about, uh, you know, the retaliation from Israel and you said bring it on. Chris, Burn, Chris uh, Blackburn, how, will, how do you think Israel will respond?